certainly recommend pad work for this leading up to a fight. All the stuff in the final week, training wise, is psychological. I, I refer to them as like vanity sessions. They're ones that make you feel sharp, but actually physically, you're not going to lose anything by even just doing nothing the whole week. But saying that, I've always felt like I want to do short, sharp, um, fight paced pad work and stuff like that. Those those sessions are like half an hour and I'm done. It's like pff, then I'm then I'm off. I'm recovering again. Fighters, welcome back to another episode of Heatrick Muay Thai Performance. And it's all, it's fight specific. So I, if I can, it's with a pad holder rather than a punch bag. And it's a pad holder that that's what I refer to as interactive. They're sparring me back. They're kind of hitting me back. And I'm I'm defending and doing and, and working whatever I need to there as well. As opposed to real sparring where there's an injury risk and the, the risk reward is just you can nobble yourself right at the last minute and that really messes with your head as much as anything. So um, fight specific pad work. The way I like to do it as well, and this isn't the way all coaches do it, but with, with the Muay Thai training, I like to replicate the fight specifically. So for example, a fight with three two minute rounds, fight specific pad rounds. So I will literally warm up, do whatever we're going to do. And then it'll be three twos on the pads going, absolutely going for it. Like, the, the the it's like fight gone bad you know it's it's that kind of i've got to push the pace then i will then take um say for us like three to something like eight to ten minutes rest could be active rest just moving around whatever bit of shadow boxing if you want to but then do another fight three twos boom again and then rest another eight to ten minutes perhaps do that again another so you, it's three fights back to back at least you could perhaps do up to four, but as soon as you start feeling the pace is dropping off, I'm not replicating how I should feel in a fight anymore. You're doing too many. So typically between two to four fights back to back is how I would stretch that out to make it more intense than your fight. So rather than, I know a lot of fighters like to, they'll go like, well, you're fighting for three, you're going to do seven rounds, 10 rounds, 12 rounds. It's harder than the fight. The issue I have with that, it's true. The issue I have with that is you learn to pace yourself for a longer fight than you've got and you can mess it up. You know, it's, you know, if you've, if you've been run, if you're an athlete that runs a 200 meter race and you do 400 meters because it's longer than you've got to run, you mess up your timing, your pacing strategy and everything. You just, it, you cock it up. When I was uh, training kickboxing, we had a, our black belt grading was like an eight hour grading or something. And the week before we had to do, uh, it was an 18 mile run. So I'd been doing loads of that. And then after, after that grading, this years and years and years ago now, there was a five mile run that came up through, through the forest somewhere. And I'd been training for like 18 miles. So I was like, easy. And I went out so fast because I had I'd not done any five mile runs. I had no idea what it felt like, how to pace it. I went out way too fast. And I felt so much more fatigued in that five mile run than I did in my 18 mile runs, despite it only being five miles. And it's because my pace was completely wrong. So I prefer to go, right, you're doing three twos. You're going to do three twos on the pads. Go for it. Nothing left at the end of that third round. <laughs> You've got 10 minutes to recover. Then we're going again. And now this is an even harder fight, but we're getting you to pace yourself for three twos again. And you know how much energy you can output for three twos at the highest level. And it gives you some confidence in the fight then that whatever's happening, you're like, I know how hard I can really push and make three twos and lift, literally finish that third round. The bell rings. And it's like, yeah, that was, that was my, all my energy spent rather than oh, I finished that fight. And I don't feel like I did enough because I was holding back a little bit. And it, oh, I almost surprised myself. The fight's over. It's like, shit, did I do enough? Mm -hmm. So that's the way I prefer personally to work it. I know different coaches do it different ways, but um, just to give you an idea there, and it might be something that perhaps want to experiment with, it, maybe not for all of the all the pad rounds you've got in that final week, but give it a try. I, I think you'll like it. Thanks for listening. If you found this valuable, please like, subscribe, and share with someone else it could help too. Please give the podcast a review or comment below. We'd love to hear from you. As always, you can visit heatrick.com for more Muay Thai performance podcasts, videos, articles, and guides. Catch you next time.